Hi, I'm Robert Townsend, and I'm so excited about talking to you about this concert coming up. February 17th at 2 p.m. at Pike Performing Arts Center, it is the return of the Philharmonic Orchestra of Indianapolis's gospel concert, the Black History Concert. We're so excited this year because we are going to pay tribute to some wonderful artists and wonderful composers. So we have music this year that is paying tribute to Richard Smallwood, Kirk Franklin, Jester Hairston. We have music from Myrna Summers. And at the beginning of the concert is the beautiful piano concerto in one movement by Florence Price with our guest pianist, Dr. Phoenix Park Kemp. It's gonna be a wonderful day of celebrating this heritage, but also a wonderful day of gospel music with some great artists in the city. So I'd like to now introduce the soloist, the piano soloist for the concerto, Dr. Phoenix Park Kim. She has a wealth of knowledge about this piece. Hi, my name is Phoenix Park Kim. I teach piano at Indiana Wesleyan University. Uh, we're here at this beautiful showroom at Piano Solutions in Carmel, Indiana. Florence Price was a composer of renown in 1930s, but she sort of got forgotten um, by the public. Um, she faced a double prejudice as a woman and as an African-American. Um, but fortunately, her music was sort of rediscovered in the recent decade, and this piece has been performed uh, quite a few times um, across the country. This is a concerto in one movement. However, there are three distinctive sections, and um, I love the second section, which is a slow uh, section. and. Um, it is deeply spiritual and it's very tender um, and um, there is just yearning melody that is so uh, beautiful. And I am excited because um, there's a little bit of a challenge when there is so much freedom and flexibility in, in rhythm um, as a soloist with the orchestra having to collaborate. It excites me um, that this concert has also gospel choir, and um, this particular piece has the last section that is so accessible, and I think any audience of any age, uh, anybody will enjoy it. In fact, when I practice that last section, my two little children that just hum along and they just bounce their shoulders. It ends with such a positive optimism. We hope that you will be able to be a part again. This is February the 17th, Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Pike Performing Arts Center. I want to see you there. <laughs>